welcome back so today we'll be talking about azure audit logs and if this is the first time that you're visiting my channel please do subscribe uh, to my channel and if you have liked the video please give a thumbs up below and uh, coming with the video so what is azure activity logs so basically it is a platform log in azure that provides insights into the subscription level events and the activity logs includes information like uh, when a resource is modified or if the virtual machine has been started or stopped or uh, if there is any action on those particular resources, we can get to know from there. So to visit the activity logs, the first thing that you can do is you can go to the all services and you can go to the monitor section and from there you can get the information. So if you click the all, all services and here you can see there is a monitor which is the 11th section and here you can see activity logs. So you can visit the activity logs from here or you can directly search from here. So I would usually prefer the searching bar because it's very simpler. So you can see we have got the audit, uh, activity logs and you can just click that. So this is the activity log uh, panel where you can see all the information. And uh, for more functionality, you can send these uh, logs to Azure uh, monitor logs to more complex queries and alerting and for longer uh, retention period. Uh, for that, you'll be getting two years of retention period and coming to this particular activity logs, the retention period is for only 90 days. So you can get logs for only 90 days. And uh, you can also send to the Azure event hubs to forward uh, outside of the Azure. And you can also send to Azure storage, which is cheaper option and uh, long-term archiving. So this is what it is and uh, let's talk. So right now you can see we have uh, management group none. So there is nothing and coming to subscription, we have one subscription related to that. And you have different level of severities, which is critical error, warning and informational. And coming to the timestamp, you can see it's, it's six hours. So I have not done any our operations here. So that is the reason uh, it's showing nothing. So let's select, uh, let's select the last month here. So let's click apply. So let's wait uh, for that. So you can see we have got the information uh, regarding the last month, the activities that has been performed uh, in our directory. So you can get all the information from here. You can see the incident. You can see like uh, what else operation that we have done. So you can also download the CSV, uh, the, all the information that you have here. And uh, let's select one of these. So you can see the summary the operations that we have performed where we have deleted the resource group and to know more information you can check the json uh, format so you can click that and you can get more information related to that so when you want to explore more you can just uh, go ahead and uh, check the json uh, format where you can get more information so there is an also a change history preview of uh, some resources uh, for this it's not there but uh, uh, there you go so you can see sometimes you will be also having the change history uh, uh, preview. So if any changes are associated with this event, uh, you can see these uh, changes here. So right now there is no particular operation here, so we can't find it. But usually let's say there is a situation where you have changed the VM uh, size. So if there is any operation, uh, uh, such that you can see those operations here. You can see what is the actual uh, VM size before and what is the VM size afterwards if you have changed that. So you can view that in change history but uh, since we have not any operations here it's nothing. So let's close that. And uh, you can also export the audit logs. So you can also export the audit logs uh, if you want to and I have told you right like we only have uh, uh, 90 days of retention so if I go back and if I check some other date let's say some 21 you can see there is a the start time cannot be more than 90 days in the past so these are limited to 90 days whereas if you want more information like uh, there is some advanced operations that you want to perform then you can uh, send these logs to Azure monitor logs so that is what it is and this is specifically to total uh, the overall uh, directory but you can also select a specific resources 
let's see if I have any resource I don't think I have but uh, Uh, everything is normal so let's let's add a virtual machine and let's see what we can uh, add so I'm just adding some random just for an example okay sample one and uh, sample group okay okay uh, let's select 2019 data center and uh, okay it's showing me some errors so i'll just go back to the older one the size is available okay i think let's go ahead and change east us so east us so i think now it's good let's change 2019 okay yeah it's good so let me add uh, the username and uh, the password to that's correct and username must not include reserved words so that means reserved words so i'll just add one to here uh, that should be fine okay okay so i'll just review and create i don't uh, want any other information so so if you want to know more about it you can check the videos the like previous videos where i have explained how to create the virtual machines so there is a issue here so why there was an issue let's go and create again sometimes there will be some glitch so usually i'll be getting error but you can see i did no changes but you can see the validation has been passed so right now okay let's go ahead and create it and let's check for the audit logs there oh, sorry i mean our activity logs let's wait let's wait and uh, let's go to the home and let's see if the resource group has been created so you can see the resource group has been created the sample one where uh, we have kept our virtual machines so if you click here right now you can see sample one the virtual machine has been created so you can click that virtual machine and let's see so you can see the resources has been created so let's go ahead and click our virtual uh, machine which is sample one and uh, we have stopped it so let's check if we have any audit uh, like the activity logs related to that so you can see we have got modify so if you click that so you can you can see the operation name which has been modified and uh, i believe it should be like a stop since we have stopped the uh, vm so let's start again where is it start okay so let's start the device so whatever uh, operations that you perform specific to this uh, particular resource in this case it's virtual machine so whatever operations that you perform it will be uh, stored in these activity logs so just wanted to show you this So we have got a good amount of uh, logs let's see so you can see, uh, see the change history the properties that have been changed uh, so you can get the information from here if there is any change history and uh, to know more about information you can just check the json format and uh, summary as you can see uh, it just gives a glance what exactly uh, the event is all about so let's refresh and see if we have any other uh, logs so i don't think we have any other logs so yeah i just wanted to show you uh, specifically to the resources so even you can check that uh, from here activity logs so this is how you can check so if you are following this video like make sure you delete this because it will uh, charge you like some cost so make sure you delete this so let me delete this while uh, 
recording so let me click this and let me delete the resource groups and uh, apply the group name is sample one let me copy this paste and uh, delete refresh so it has been started the process so yeah i hope you guys have understood the concept of activity logs what are they and how they are useful because you can find all the events uh, that you have done so if you have understood the video please click the like button below and if you want to subscribe to the channel please do subscribe to my channel and please share the video thanks everyone